OK, folks, so I wanted to go through how to set up Headless Mate with a Raspberry Pi. So we can use the Raspberry Pi for both display and audio playback of the Mate. So in terms of my hardware setup, I've got a Headless Mate, of course, and a micro USB cable. I've got a Raspberry Pi 4. Got a HDMI connection for the Raspberry Pi. Got a power supply for the Raspberry Pi. And I've got an Ethernet um, connection for internet for the Pi as well. And then I've got a micro SD card, which is a one that I've used previously with something else. And then I've got a micro SD card reader. So the first step I'm going to do is just set up my micro SD card on my computer. And I'll plug it in. And because this is a micro SD card that I've used for something else, I'm just going to use disk utility just to erase it. And erase it as an XFAT format. Next, I'm going to go ahead and find the Raspberry Pi imager. And this is just an imaging tool that we can use to set up our SD card with the Raspberry Pi. OK, we can then choose the OS and I'm just going to choose uh, the recommended option up here with Debian. And as storage, I'm going to choose my um, SD card that I've previously inserted. This SD card is 32 gigs in size, which will be enough for what we're going to do. And then we're going to write the OS to the card. Okay, there we go. The Raspberry Pi OS has been written to the SD card. Let's hit continue. And we can get out of the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm going to remove the uh, SD card from the computer and put it into the Raspberry Pi. Like that. And then I'm going to connect up the Raspberry Pi. So I've got HDMI cable, and I've got a power cable, and Ethernet, and I've also got a wireless, uh, sorry, a wired keyboard. And I'm going to plug into one of the USB 2 ports on the Pi, like that. And let's turn the Pi on.
Okay, so there's just a bit of setup that we'll have to do with the Pi. And we'll do this without the mouse, just with the keyboard. And just with the uh, screen to be full screen. Now, because I've got Ethernet, I can skip um, searching for a Wi Fi network. Okay, there we go. System is now up to date. And last thing is we'll have to do a restart of the Pi. So now we're ready to set up the Mate C uh, headless display. And we're going to go ahead and jump onto GitHub, onto Llama's GitHub, and have a look at the guide. I'm going to follow this guide on the Raspberry Pi. And so here we go. That's just on Llama's uh, GitHub. And we can see the guide here. First step is to install our required packages. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that we've installed the required packages, we can download the source code for MateC.
and then we have to build the program. And then we have to find the correct name for the TNC. So what we want to do is now connect the TNC to the Raspberry Pi using the micro SD cable. And let's go ahead and find the right device name. And we can see the device name there, and it's TTY ACM0. Now we can go ahead and start the program, and we have to uh, use the device name. And there we go. So that's all working, which is great. I'm just going to restart the Pi and then we're going to install Jack to get audio working. Up to there, the process is uh, just to get the display working for Mate Headless. And now we can go ahead and get the audio working. Now, this is on a separate um, separate guide that Llama has made and you can see it here audio guide um, in the GitHub okay first thing we want to do is go ahead and install the Jack Audio Connection Kit. There we go. Next, we have to add our user, our current user to the uh, audio group. And then let's reboot the Pi for that to take effect. And next we have to go ahead and find the ID of the audio device that we want to use. And in my case, I want to play the audio through the HDMI port, so it's going to be card number zero. Next, we want to start the Jack server and start routing the audio.
Then we want to go ahead and set up a virtual port. And we want to use the number of the audio card that we want to route it to. So it's going to be number zero for me. And then we want to connect it to the mate USB capture. And then we can go ahead and launch mate again. And that should be playing through the HDMI port. And there we go.